this morning I was talking about where we are with thromboprophylaxis in pregnancy and we have some major issues in that we have no adequate large randomized controlled trials to know whether we should be giving heparin to our patients, what its effect is and which groups would benefit, benefit from it most. And a lot of women in the past have been put in trials, but they've been tiny trials, and so there hasn't been the power uh, to come to much conclusion. Um, and uh, what I wanted to talk about was a paper coming out now where we have taken a fresh approach in to how we would go forward with a clinical trial. Because at the moment, most people are saying, oh, you need to do a large... Uh, clinical trial, randomized controlled trial, and you're going to need large numbers because the rates of venous thromboembolism in pregnancy are quite low. It's about one to two per thousand. So you'd need to recruit 36,000 maybe to get a significant result. Who's going to pay for that? Who's going to recruit all these patients? It's a bureaucratic nightmare. So we have taken a very different approach. So we had team led by Sarah Davis, who's a health economist, and she applied some new techniques to looking at the current data that we have. And we used decision analysis, basically to hunt out a group of patients where there's high uncertainty as to whether or not some form of low molecular weight heparin might be useful to them. Um, and so it was complicated. I struggle with the statistics myself. I think everybody did. But what we came up with is there's two groups. So firstly, there's a group of high-risk women. They might have had a clot before, or they've got a high-risk thrombophilia. There's about 3,000 of them in the UK. And they would really benefit from a clinical trial of low molecular weight heparin versus placebo. And then the other group is obese women after they have had a baby. So postpartum thromboprophylaxis, is it a benefit or not? And um, those two groups, we think that it's worthwhile monetary wise to do these studies. But then we looked and we talked to patients, so a group of women who've been pregnant, had clots before, and also clinicians to say, how do you feel about either going in the study or putting women in this study? And what came out of that was most of the women who already taken thromboprophylaxis and pregnancy saying, wouldn't really be happy about going into a trial where I'm up against placebo. Why are you giving me thromboprophylaxis in the first place? It's really important. I think to take it, and I can't see the point of going a placebo arm, I'd want to have uh, the thromboprophylaxis. And then the clinicians, clinicians are saying, these are really high risk women, we'd be unhappy to put this group in a clinical trial. So we came to the conclusion that the best place to do a clinical trial is obese women after they have given birth and randomize them to heparin on no heparin. Most people would be happy to go in a trial there. There's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, and uh, we think we could probably do a trial of about 300 women in each arm, which would provide some benefit. And the cost would be about 2.8 million. Now, pulling that all together, I think it's uh, trying to find a group that we can do a proper trial and we have sent our results to the National Institute of Health Research who commissioned the study and we were hoping that they'll come out with a funding stream asking clinicians in the UK to do a trial in this area.